Hi guys, today I'll be sharing with you how I do my coral reef fish eyeshadow look. Here I'm just starting off with my Neutrogena face lotion, as I always do before applying any makeup. Now I'm moving on to my flower liquid foundation, just applying that liberally to my face so I get a nice full coverage look. Here I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind for my dark circles and brightening up some areas of my face. I also use it to cover up some blemishes. Now with a dry beauty blender, I just go ahead and blend everything out and make sure it looks nice and even and flawless. Now I'm just using my Smashbox Halo Glow Color Boosting Powder. This is just a mineral bronzer and I also know they carry this formula in blushes as well. This stuff is really great, I love it. After giving my face some color, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Foundation in the color Porcelain or 100. This is a really great powder for me. I think it gives you really nice full coverage and it works really well. Here I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection Highlighter in the color Rose Glow Champagne. Rose Champagne Glow, my bad. <laughs> Now I'm just going to apply my Mali base shadow all over my lids. This is a great primer for any eyeshadow. Here I'm going in with a bright yellow and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Now I'll be taking a bright teal color and I'm going to be placing it in my outer V and in my crease. Make sure it's nice and blended out with the yellow. Now just apply it to the other side. And I'm going to be taking a darker blue color and I'm only going to be applying that to my outer V to darken things up and make it more dramatic. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Glow Sticks. And I'll be placing that right underneath my eyelashes on the bottom, about halfway. And then I'll be taking another Super Shock Shadow in the color Ibiza and doing the other half. Okay, now I'm just going to curl my lashes a little bit and then we'll move on to the eyeliner. Here I'm using my TARDIS clay paint liner and I'm just going to wing it out. If you haven't tried this stuff, I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's very easy to use. Get both sides nice and dark. You can find this at Sephora, I know, and also on Tarte's website. Okay, now I'm just going to go over with my Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and apply a light coat to my lashes so my falsies will have something to hold on to. 
Now I'm just going in with my Salon Perfect Lashes and my Duo Eyelash Glue and I'll be applying those to my eyelids. If you struggle with false eyelashes, please use tweezers, it really does help. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go over with my Almay liquid liner in black over my, uh, my original eye eyeliner line and then it's just going to darken things up and cover any eyelash glue that may have gotten on my line. Make sure it's nice and dark. Now I'm going to go over again with my Full Exposure Mascara and I'm going to darken things up and I'm also going to apply it to my bottom lashes this time. I feel like this step is important. Okay, now I'm going in with my L'Oreal LA Nude Palette 1, and I'm just going to use the matte dark brown shade to fill in my eyebrows. I normally don't use any gels or liners or anything like that. I'll just apply the shadow and then set my makeup afterward. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to apply my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, or number 05, to my cheeks. Give me a nice little glow. And that's it, that's the last step. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Come back again, bye.